Okay, wow. I just had the best rant on one of them, and I couldn't even get it onto YouTube, so I had to uh, send the video along with the link to where people could see my, uh, see my rant or see him my rant. Wow, that was terrible. All because it went over 32 minutes that I can't even put it on uh, both YouTube, uh, both YouTube uh, uploading services. Really? Anyway, so this is your lovable widower, uh, Prince DJ, and an angry widower, too, because I'm about to approach my eight-year anniversary of a freak accident that took my life, meaning cardiac arrest, in a hospital but I was stuck in the waiting room, okay? The day is still fresh in my, or the, the, day, the night is still fresh in my mind, okay? Still remember that Dr. Renee and the chaplain who, who destroyed, literally destroyed my life. And I still, to this very day, wonder how the heck that I'm in a Houston, Texas uh, passport waiting uh, room in house. Wonder what the hell am I doing? Okay, and it will be after podcast mo- movement. Now, luckily, I I will be in Texas back here in Texas after podcast movement. But the problem is, I still might have the flashback because now I'm starting to get the flashback real earlier than expected. I'm in a different state, or maybe it's because of the heat. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe the heat is rushing the flashback, even though it's not even August yet. But, you know, as you know, I always, when I'm mad at a romance scammer, I am, I really put them on blast. Like, remember the romance scammer that tried to scam me? Uh, and then there's another one that didn't like a uh, disabled person, and then I put her on blast. And I'm always getting all the Charlotte Flairs and Liz Morgans who tried to scam me because I'm a member of the WWE Universe. But things are really going downhill by, by, by now because, like I said, it's getting closer to August. And I'm still waiting for help to be to get be able to get food because I have to risk my life. I've been stuck almost all summer, except when I was forced to go to the Sam Club and then to Dollar Store when I had my food stamps. And I'm going back to the Dollar Store tomorrow. And and I did not even feel the AC the last time uh, the store I went to the Family Dollar, which is close by where I'm at. And I asked them how the heck that they do they have do, do they have air conditioning because they, they they're there eight hours a day, you know whatever the shift is they're there eight hours a day and how the hell are they going to be working there in the heat inside? Without air conditioning. At least I didn't feel it. I didn't know because I'm at the, you know, the store part. I don't know what's going on. Okay. So. Maybe because I'm, I'm hot. Maybe because I'm still starving. I only have like one meal a day. Or I have to ask people to help me. Well, m- mostly my roommate. Because I'm asking people now. And not even my three, my usual three will help me. I mean, I know it's summer, yes. I know you will usually be on your vacations and stuff, yes. But I'm struggling. I'm in one of the hottest places on earth right now. One of them, because now the heat is affecting Europe and other places. Now it's global now. Okay, so I'm not a Republican no more. But okay, what is this? Uh, what is this? Everybody says about global warming. Okay, global warming. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Almost everywhere it's out, except for Australia. Madam President is from Australia. And yeah, Carla, she's from Australia. And she was telling me uh, during one day of the game that it's still winter over there. But in places like Europe and other places around the globe and here in America, it's an oven or the first three levels of hell. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So, either the heat is making me uh, move closer to my anniversary early, because 
I want to think about going home to podcast movement. I want to be, you know, you know, hopefully get get ready to fire Eric Bischoff again and um making people laugh. I hope that hopefully this time get it on video. You know? Because it will be funny. It will be funny. But anyway. Oh, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. I mean, I'm talking to, yes, I'm talking to females, but most of them are the romance game, either between Facebook and Twitter, but Twitter is usually the worst with it. I have come a few on Facebook, but it's like, the only thing that made me realize this is that, you know, even though I said uh, there was a game that compares celebrity couples to another, other people, whatever, uh, in a relationship or whatever, and I did say that I know uh, Jennifer Lopez was taken because some weird, crazy re- reason, one of the couples, I, I put a couple of them, but one of the couples they put me with is uh, J- J-Lo, and I said, I know that she is taken, and then I said a guy could dream. And then one of the Facebook citizens said, uh, Lo, I hate to break this to you, but she knows she's uh, married to Ben Affleck. Of course I know that she married. And then that made, made me to the crashing sensation that I might be required to die alone. But I'll get to that rant in, in a minute. But that's what I uh, want to talk about. Oh, boy. Where is my help? Where is my help? The other one I talked about, there's a story, another, yet another story of a couple that's living my dream when I say that a home, one of my home is a cruise ship. And now that's added uh, to part of the uh, uh, palace, the main real palace extension, which is uh, podcast movement and podfest. They're now extended into the main palace. Um, but now another story about a couple who is living on a cruise ship. So I'm bringing you that story right about now. And hopefully it won't take 29 minutes or 32 minutes, and then it can't be uploaded to YouTube. And so I had to do another video to put the link of the, of the damn show, which was pretty good. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So here we go. Ugh, it's not fair. Anyway, it says, uh, couples, couple retired to live on a cruise ship because it's cheaper uh, than a, a nursing home. It's actually a lot cheaper than uh, assisted living. Uh, the cost of living in the United States have gone up so so much in recent years that living on a cruise ship has become a reasonable idea for some retirees. When Nancy and Robert Hutchinson of, of Charlotte, Virginia retired, they decided to sell almost everything they had and live out their golden years hopping from cruise ship to cruise ship. Uh, we had a 3,000-square-foot home full of furniture, and everything we own, everything we own now would, would, fit, would fit in the back of a pickup truck, uh, Robert told USA Today. We had sold all of our estates except for a little condominium we have in Florida, so when we get too old to cruise, we have somewhere to live, Nancy added. Nancy added, and we did keep two vehicles, and that which, which we kept in half of, uh, half of Robert, mother, uh, storage unit, which is I don't know, uh, ten by ten or something. We just walked away from everything. Uh, life on a cruise ship is stress free. Of course, of course it is. That's why I love it. That's why I consider it home. And you can feel like yourself. Of course. Of course, they tell the truth. Life on a cruise ship is stress-free for uh, for the couple because their needs are taken care of on the ship. It's been great. I don't cook. I don't clean. Nancy told the uh, Miami Herald. And the couple have found that living on a cruise ship is it as expensive as some may assume, even though inflation has driven up the cost of travel, which it has, indefinitely, in the U.S., 
and having uh, significantly impacted the uh, cruise industry. Well, to me it is because I wanted to go on cruise on my birthday even now, but I'm going to have to do it next year, even though it's in the middle of an election year. But uh, it's much cheaper than a nursing home or assisted living. It was just a good fit for us. Uh, it's a good fit for uh, a lot of people, Robert told the Miami Miami Herald. The couple planned their trips differently uh, differently than someone who is going on vacation. We look for the best uh, idea, uh, uh, not the destination. Nancy told uh, crew passenger. The couple, the couple. Oh my God, the couple. Where the hell did I come up with that word? The couple. Oh my God. Anyway, the couple initially planned to spend four thousand dollars a month into living on the ship, uh, living on the ships. Our original budget was four thousand a month. This included gratuity. Of course, things are more expensive now, so uh, that budget has had a um, increase a little. Depending on where we go, we may or may not need uh, need the internet. Uh, she asked, "Well, I always need the internet because I got a podcast." And also, well, if I don't go to show, but more than likely I go to show because sometimes I have crushes on the ladies who perform for playlists. You know, I have a crush on them. I can't help it. Anyway, our phone our phone plan covers most of everything for twenty five cents a, a, a minute to call with free internet and texting. Nancy continued. Uh, we have an annual travel insurance plan, and one of our credit cards also travel insurance. Uh, so, just in case to fill up time, I will give the st- I will put the story up on the marquee. I really wanted to get to let me see my time on here. My forgotten time. Wow, with all my other twelve minutes, but I really wanted to get to my main rant. And I will add the story up on the marquee, like I said. Uh, but yeah, I do want to. I do want to live out my days on a cruise ship, uh, even though I might be move. Even though I'm definitely moving to an island, which is either Galveston, West uh, Key West, or well, it, within three years, definitely Hawaii. Uh, I would do like to. Uh, I mean, it's almost like I'm being exiled, so. What better place to be exiled than my main home, the cruise ship? I mean, you just walk out the cabin. You got your you got your shows covered for free. Well, it's part of the as part of the fair. It's not free, but it's part of the fair. Uh you can play casino. You don't have to travel far to a casino. Uh there is there is uh food. Uh, of course, there's uh, specialty food that you have to pay for, of course. But still. Everything is right there. You never have to. You never have to starve for nothing. Unlike on the stupid reality mainland, mainland reality is stupid. No bad. Reality sucks. I hate reality. I don't want to live in reality anymore. Anywho, now that I got that out of my system, all right. Now let me get to the rant before I can't get this on video, and I want to get it out there. Okay, and it, it, it escaped my email because I wanted to get what I said out here because Twitter wanted me to write a four-part book when I could have fully done it on Facebook, which I did. Facebook, I could get, I could get the full thing, but Twitter, no, 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 not Twitter, not Twitter. It's always a damn book. Because this is what I said, and it turned out to be a part four. Yes, I had to put a part part four on Twitter. And I blame you, romance scammers. I blame you. The reason why I'm stuck here all by myself in a room and house where I can't even have overnight uh, overnight visit. Okay. And when I want to afford to when I want to afford to 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 make love with somebody, all I had to do is dream. 
Day, 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 whenever I want to, all I have to do is stand. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I was stuck into it because a lot of times these rumor houses have rules of no get, no overnight guests. So the guests who had to come during the heat of the day, which is like right now terrible. They would have to come during the heat of the day. And what are people here? Because there are ladies here living in, here on the path split and different path split across the country. But what if they are taken and they want to see their dates, whoever they date, they either have to come during the day and then leave at night or, you know, they would have to leave that night to go to the dates and be with them or vice versa. It's a stupid rule. It just really is a stupid rule. And I'm approaching my one month, uh, my eight year anniversary of my wife passing. Eight years. I haven't been intimate with anybody. I will see. I repeat and say this again until I blew in the faith. I have not been intimate with anybody since eight long years. On August 28th, after I return to the interim second palace after podcast movement, and then I leave on August 26th, the day, two days before the dreaded, awful, infamous, terrible August 28th. Eight. Here's what I said before I have a nervous breakdown. If I must and required to die alone without people around me, and it takes someone a long time to find me because I am alone, humanity, humanity wise, but not without God, it's because of my looks. I mean, look at me. Look at the picture of me. I look ugly. I would have, matter of fact, there are some people that are either divorced or separated and they could get a woman just like that because they look better than me. They could get a w- woman like, oh, uh, probably a month or a week. I saw a YouTuber who was divorced and then already got a woman. Already got a woman. After their divorce or after they break up or whatever. Already. Look at me. Eight freaking years. Haven't been intimate with nobody. And then somebody has the nerve to have me, oh, am I searching, uh, am I taking time to find a way? Hello? My big head is stuck inside most of the majority of the time. I can't even get out because I'm scorched to death in the heat. I'll be like the wicked with the, the wet. Ah, oh, I'm melting! I'm melting! Look what you did to my beautiful world! Anyway, I'll continue. Living in poverty. And romance scammers. But here's the thing that I can't blame. I didn't put that thing, but I put it in this fan. Here's the thing I can't blame. I can't blame disabilities because there are pe- a lot of people who have disabilities and are still married today. I had a friend who I did a television show with. Okay. I did a television show with the Mount Clare, New Jersey, where she used to live at. Now she lives in Hamilton, who is married today. And they both have disabilities. And they're married today. They're newlyweds. They're newlyweds. And I had a crush on her, but, you know, she probably wasn't interested in me because I was scared to approach her like that. But anyway, she's married right now today. Right now. Have a disability. And married. So I can't blame disability. Because otherwise, I was supposed to be married now! My wife is supposed to be, still be co-host of the Big D, though. She was supposed to be queen. She was supposed to be a star queen of Big D country. She was already princess the bargain hunter. She was supposed to be queen of Big D country. The only queen. Like I said, there's still people who are disability or are d- disabled and married today. Still. Within the sound of my voice. Still married today. 
I get jealous of people who couples and family, you know, you know, except for on family feud that the but also except for when I see children, I had to hide, you know, like when I see the little kids, because the adults have to play the game. But then, you know, when I see the kids or somebody uh if one of the whole set the people through marriage proposal, I'll have to hide or close my eyes or whatever. But still, and I don't even watch the, the newlywed game. Because they're still married and talked about their marriage life, but I don't even watch it. Not, uh, even when I do go home on a cruise ship, I don't go to Love and Marriage. I don't go to that shows. I won't go to those shows. Because they're still married and I'm not the father. I hate being a widower, and next month will be the eighth year since my wife suddenly left me behind and went with the Lord, I was supposed to say the Lord, with the Lord leaving me to struggle and still hurt only because I still miss her. Couples, take it from me. Keep your husband or your wife, and I should have asked, asked girlfriend or boyfriend, really close to you. Because you could be married one day, or you could be in a relationship one day, then the next day, because of a freak accident, like what happened to my wife, uh, she had a uh, sudden cardiac arrest. She was revived at, uh, where we lived at, but then it was in, in the hospital, where uh, she, I guess she must have had another uh, sudden cardiac arrest, and then she passed away. And then I got, got the worst news ever from Dr. Renee. I still remember her name, Dr. Renee, and a chaplain. It was I was I was I was in a handicap match between Dr. Renee and a chaplain, and I was screaming bloody murder. I was thought I was going to go to jail, but there was. That they would tell me it was a freak accident. And I was like, oh, I don't want to go to jail. I love my wife. I love my wife. I don't want to go to jail. I love my wife. I love my wife. I love my wife. I love my wife. I was like that the whole entire freaking time. I was like that the whole entire fucking time. I was ballistic. Let me read this again. Couple, couple take this from me. Keep your husband or wife very close to you, because you you could be married one day, then the next day, because of a freak accident. That's not your fault. What the cops? Even the cops had to tell me that. Even even the cops, even the cops had to tell me that. Even on the way to the hospital, they kept telling me it's not my fault. It's not my fault. Even the cops told me that. He or she is gone just like that. Then all you have left is to still miss you pain, severe depression, PTSD, and general anxiety disorder. Please learn from my hurt. Keep them very close to you because you just never know. And I will repeat it again. You just never know.